Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over on the channel each and every single day. And those three things include all the daily collection sets and their current cycles. We're going to go over all the daily challenges, at least the daily general challenges in extensive detail. And then last but not least, we're going to go over Madame Nazar's location. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We got the fossils, which will be a part of cycle number three, the lost jewelry, cycle number five, arrowheads, cycle number five family heirloom cycle number three and then the coins are going to be a part of cycle number two now the next four sets i'm about to go over you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them but you do need to be a collector in order to sell, to sell them so definitely get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can and if you guys didn't purchase that collector bag before today you missed out on five gold bars off this last week so i do apologize for that but I let everybody know last week that it was five gold bars off. So honestly, but if you do want to make any type of money here in Red Dead Online, purchase that as soon as you possibly can. So we got the American Wildflowers, which you can collect three sets every single day. It's going to be a part of cycle number two. Tarot cards are going to be a part of cycle number one. Antique alcohol bottles will be a part of cycle number six. And then last but not least, we have the bird eggs. which will be a part of cycle number three. Now, the next thing we're going to go over is the daily challenges, at least the daily general challenges uh, in extensive details let's go ahead and do that right now um, and if you guys have any questions regarding any of the daily role challenges by all means leave a comment down below the reason that we're not going to go over those in extensive detail is not everybody has the exact same daily rule challenges but if you guys are different and you have questions we want to be able to help you guys out so leave a comment down below so we got three cooked seasoned venison. Cooked and seasoned are going to be the same. So cooking could be over any fire, wilderness campfire, camp campfire, a campfire that's in any of the cities or any naturally generated one. Seasoning is going to be thyme, oregano, or mint. And then venison you can get from pronghorn or white-tailed deer. And that's all you really need to do. So cook them up. And that one's actually pretty easy for today. The next one is going to be a distance of 500 by... a traveling leading your own horse so basically you just have to get, walk your horse for 500 distance it's gonna take a little bit of time because it's not gonna be super easy to get that one done but it shouldn't take too terribly long well, the next one uh looks like the next two are pvp related so we might as well go over those together and what makes it really nice is just reading those while i was talking to you guys we got finish showdown in any showdown series and then you have to finish a showdown takeover series so you might as well just play a takeover series because you're gonna get both of these done in the exact same takeover series so you're gonna get gold for participating it gold for each of the daily challenges so you can get half a gold bar easy peasy from just doing one takeover series today so even if you're not in pvp that's probably what i would recommend uh, is there any other pvp ones oh my gosh there is so there's uh we've got three player headshots in showdown so while you're in a takeover get to head some headshots then any ammo use any weapon that you want get those headshots and you guys can actually make got three quarters of a gold bar here today that's nuts that's probably the most that we've had in quite a long time and in like an eight minute period i definitely recommend that you guys do a showdown today i might have to and i haven't played showdown in months uh redfin pickerel caught uh, redfin pickerel can be caught pretty much in any body of water but as far as where i'm located at right now it's going to be the dakota river area um over here uh, along this way or even over by um san denis along the kamasa river you can find the redfin pickerel and they do prefer bread bait but a lot of the fish prefer bread bait anyway so you're going to be catching other types of fish so this one's going to take you guys a little bit of time to complete the next one on the list was pheasants um pheasants for the most part you guys can find anywhere in the new hanover area that's probably my go-to location for it otherwise i would say my other go-to location um so i would say in the nor more northern spot of the like the heartlands or even new hanover so pretty much like right in along this ridge right here pretty much just draw a line east and west pretty much right on that train track right there and you should be fine otherwise another really good spot is actually going to be over here in the great plains area i find a lot of pheasants around here as well but if you guys have any other recommendations by all means leave a comment down below all right i think that's all of the daily general challenges let's move on to the daily rule challenges we got two bounties brought in from new uh new austin posters one bounty hunt complete with five minutes or more left three living bounty targets and a photograph the trader roll 20 donations to crypts two goods sold to a distant buyer six large animal carcasses donated to crypts the collector roll three collectibles sold to madame nazar three fossils found three lost jewelry found let's go ahead and show you guys where you can find madame nazar for today madame nazar can actually be found in the blue water marsh area 
So for all of your Mad Mazar collector needs, you can find her right here in Blue Water Marsh, making Van Horn or Lagra your fast travel destination of choice for today. Moving on to the Moonshiner roll, we got a distance of 4827 by Moonshine Wagon traveled on a mission. Two Moonshine Bar danced for two minutes. We had that one yesterday. Two Moonshine Bootlegger missions completed. The Naturalist roll, don't kill any animal for 24 game hours. Three Forest River animal samples taken. And then five animal samples sold to Harriet. But that is everything done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding anything that we went over in today's video, or even did go over in today's video, by all means, leave a comment down below. But if you guys did find it helpful or enjoyable, Make sure that you guys go ahead and like and subscribe down below. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.